Governor Christie says he wants to see a $1 hike in the minimum wage phased in over three years. His conditional veto message says that is the responsible way to raise the minimum wage to $8.25, not all at once. His Republican allies agree. It appears that the governor uh, was reasonable. Sounds like uh, it's compromise, which he always said it's a broad boulevard, and that he came down with, I think it's a dollar over three years. Uh, it it do, is not tied into an index, so therefore it's uh, consistent with what he thought that he said along uh, the road that, hey, I'm on the compromise, and he did. The democratically controlled legislature approved two minimum wage bills recently, one that hikes the wage to eight fifty an hour, and one that asks voters to approve a constitutional amendment hiking it to eight twenty five from the current seven twenty five. Both bills contain an annual cost of living increase that tracks the consumer price index. The governor objects to that. Assembly Speaker Sheila Oliver objects to the governor's veto. I think that to propose a twenty five cents increase uh, Immediately, with a 50 cents and then 25 cents, it would take people who earn the minimum wage three years to earn a dollar increase in their pay. That is unacceptable given the realities of the cost of living in New Jersey. What happens now is that Oliver and Senate President Steve Sweeney will ask their members to approve a ballot referendum on the issue again. A simple majority two years running puts a question up for voter approval and bypasses the governor. Yeah, he said he would never support a CPI. I think he's completely wrong. People shouldn't have to wait seven or eight years when elected officials, all of a sudden their conscience bothers them and says, you know, we haven't raised this thing in a long time. Christie calls the Democratic approach lopsided. His phase-in includes a sweetener, a restoration of a 25% cut in the state earned income tax credit for low-wage earners. Credit. The governor needs to restore the earned income tax credit irregardless of a conversation about minimum wage. What I say is he's full of it because he must not care about the working poor. He's going to offer him a quarter. Michael, that's not a fair approach to anything. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron at the Statehouse.